Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then hi, my name is Lauren. And on my channel, we mostly talk about anything luxury, but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you my entire designer coat collection for 2023. I've already done a similar video for 2020, by the way, if you want to go ahead and check the state of my designer coat collection back then, then I will go ahead and leave the link to the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. I've since then added a couple of jackets, so if you're interested to see what these are, then please keep on watching. So before we start anything, I just wanted to put it out there that this is going to be a longer video than usual, so definitely go get yourself like a cup of tea or like a hot cocoa or something because it's going to be quite a long video. For each jacket that I will present to you, I will include mod shots. Obviously I realized that like me holding the jacket right in front of the camera is not going to show you the full picture of what the jacket looks like, what it looks like when it's worn. Um, a lot of the times it's like long jackets, so they won't even appear like full length on the screen. So I just wanted to put that out there. So here we are, I've backed up the camera to show you my jackets. First of all, let me tell you, I didn't really know how to organize this video. I was debating whether I was going to do it by brand, whether I was going to be doing it by type of jacket. And I think that I've settled on doing it from level of warmth. So we'll start at like the very lightest jacket and we'll move on to something super duper warm. So my lightest jacket in my collection is a jacket from Montclair. It's the Montclair Lance Lightweight Puffer Jacket. Um, and I have mine in pink. This is something that I love, but don't wear enough to be honest. I think um, I love the color, but it's not as easy to wear as I would have thought. Um, so this is the type of jacket that I wear when it's about like, you know, in the mid 50s outside, but you still need to wear a jacket because of the wind. This is a great option. Um, it's something that I can wear with athletic gear. It's something that I can wear with like, you know, a pair of jeans. I wouldn't really wear this with like a skirt or a dress because it's a little bit sporty. Um, but it's a great option, for example, for running errands or if you have like a day of like, you know, medical appointments or something like that. Um, I love to wear it with leggings. I feel like it pairs really nicely. Um, this is also a very good option for hikes. Um, because you can fold it. So if you feel like it's too warm outside and you don't really need to wear a jacket in the end, um, you can fold it pretty easily into something fairly small, not, not super, super small, but let's say like fairly small, like something, you know, like this, which is you know, manageable to put in like a backpack. Um, I feel like I don't wear it enough because of the color. I thought that I would love the color and I do, but um, I think I wear a lot of black, so that's fine. But then I want to wear a different color on top. So I wear black pants and I want to wear a different color for the top. And then I have a problem kind of like assorting. Um, <laughs> I have like, um, like a light pink um, athletic top. And so that's also why I want to wear the light pink athletic top, but then this doesn't work. So I think that I would get a little bit more wear out of it if I had gotten it in like black or uh, maybe light gray. But still regardless, I love this jacket and I would highly recommend it. on our list we have a trench coat from Bearberry. I really feel like this is an essential in any designer coat collection. You do need a trench coat. They are great for example when it rains um, or even if it's like threatening to rain or you don't really know what to wear. This pairs nicely with about anything. You can wear it with like a pair of pants. Um, you can wear it with like a skirt or a dress even if you have like a really really nice dress underneath if you're going to like a fancy restaurant or something like that. This still works. That's what I really like about it. Um, so by the way, this is called the Very Very Short Chelsea Trench Coat. I have mine in color honey. And the best thing about it is that I got it at the outlets. Um, so I paid about $600 for it. 
which is definitely close to nothing, um, especially when you compare it to retail pricing. I bought it at the outlets in La Vallée Village, it's near Paris, um, so I also benefited from like the tax refund, so this was like huge, huge savings. Um, and I know I do tell you not to buy anything at the outlets because <laughs> you get tempted and you don't really make the best decisions, but I actually had in mind to buy a trench coat for a long time, so this really worked nicely. I knew what I was going to buy, I saw this one, I loved it instantly, so it worked out very, very well. Um, yeah, so I think this is really great because there is like a removable layer that's like right here um, So you can remove it and this kind of makes it such that you can also wear it when it gets a little bit less warm outside when it gets colder so it definitely extends like the, let's say, shelf life um, of this jacket. It's not just something that you're going to wear when it's like, I don't know, like 60 plus outside. You could also wear it when it's like, let's say 45 to probably yeah, like 60 something. Um, so for example, you know, for here in the Northeast, that's like a big range um, <laughs> um, of like, you know, um, weeks and then even months that you could potentially wear this jacket. So. I really like it. I feel like it's classy, but also sporty as well. It's really something that anybody would need. This would actually be like my best recommendation in terms of like a designer coat. If you were to only get one or if you were to start a designer coat collection, this would be the piece that I would recommend. So moving up in the level of warmth, we now have also um, a coat by Bearberry, and this time it's a wool coat, it's in black. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the references for this one. I don't think that it is available anymore. If I do find it while I edit the video, then I will write it down there, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I think I bought it such a long time ago, and I bought it at the outlets. So this makes it such that it's no longer a current model. Um, so this coat is like mid-length, of course you'll see it in the mod shots and the close-ups. Um, it's mid-length, which for me works out nicely because I'm super super duper tall, so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I am 5'11 or 180 centimeters, which is like giraffe height. So for me, mid-length doesn't make it too long, it's like still about above the knee, which is the perfect length for this type of coat. Obviously it's a wool coat. So that probably means that you're wearing this when it's like cold outside. So you don't want something that's like too short because otherwise your legs are gonna be freezing. But I also personally wouldn't want something that's too, too long. I think I've seen some like Bearberry coats that are like pretty much like floor length. Um, that would for me make it really hard to walk in, <laughs> number one. And then number two, I feel like this would kind of accentuate my height. Um, if the coat was like full, like floor length, um, it wouldn't really look good on me at least and it's not really my style. So this works out very well. It's the type of coat that I will wear like if I'm like dressed up to go somewhere or if I'm like going out on a date for example. If I have like a nice dress underneath and it's not raining, then this is going to be my coat option. The fact that it's black makes it super easy to dress it up or down. Um, this could also be something for example that you could wear with like a pair of pants if you want for like a day out and about in the city if you're touring a new city or something like that. Um, it's really easy to wear any type of like bag on top of this um, coat. It's black so basically anything will work with it. I love for example like a beige bag and this coat. I think it looks perfect. It's the perfect combination. Next up, we have the Montclair Ambroise Puffer Jacket. I've had this jacket for such a long time. I mean, I believe it's been like at least like six or seven years since I've had this jacket. And as you can see, I mean, it still looks very, very new. Um, it's still in like really good condition and I've worn it and worn it and worn it and worn it, um, especially at the beginning because this was my first like designer coat um, type of jacket. So I would only wear that, basically. 
I love, love it. Um, what I love most about it is the fur. I know that it's not for everybody and this is like not like a debate, so we're not gonna do that. But that's what I love the most about this jacket. This is a short type of jacket. Um, so that makes it such that you can wear this really nicely, for example, with pants. This is like the perfect pairing with pants. Um, it's not like too, too warm. So it's probably not for like the coldest days out of the year, but it still is very, very practical. Um, you can probably um, fold this jacket well enough so that it can fit into a suitcase and not take up the entire space of the suitcase. So that's also a great bonus. The one downside that I will mention is that at the bottom of the jacket right here, it's kind of like wider um, than over here. So that makes it such like there's a lot of wind that comes like underneath the jacket because it's not as narrow as in the midsection. So I know that it's to create like, you know, an hourglass type of shape and it's to look nice, but it makes it a little bit cold or you have to have like an extra thick sweater. But then the problem is for me at the shoulders, I can't wear the extra thick sweater because the shoulders are too narrow. So that is kind of a problem when wearing this jacket. You probably shouldn't be wearing it if it's like super cold outside or if there's a lot of wind because there's gonna be a lot of the cold and the wind that's gonna go like under the jacket <laughs> and to come tickle you. <laughs> we have the Burberry wool cashmere tailored coat um, and this to be honest wasn't necessarily the best purchase um, so I bought it at the outlets um, and this was one of these instances where I probably shouldn't have bought it and I probably did buy it for the price so this kind of coat if you purchase it in store is worth like 2500 plus tax plus 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 some at the very least but I bought it at the outlets for, I believe, 700 euros, which was an excellent price back then. And I think I kind of bought it um, more for the price than for the practicality of the jacket. So this is a very beautiful coat. Obviously, it's well tailored. It fits me very well. It suits me. But uh, I haven't worn it a lot. I've probably worn it um, only probably like five or six times ever since I got it. And I at least got it like five years ago. So not a great track record. And that's because in my mind, it is too dressed up. Um, so I feel like for my age, I'm still 29. This kind of coat is like a little old style um, and kind of makes me look a little bit older than I am. I feel like it's not really myself um, if I wear this coat. I don't really feel like myself. I feel like I'm kind of like overdressed, like over, you know, like just a little extra, like in the spotlight. Um, maybe in New York City where everybody's like super nicely dressed, but basically anywhere else, I feel like it's like overkill. It's too much that people would start judging, would be like, oh, who does she think she is? So I don't really reach for this coat very much. I tend to favor the black coat instead. This one is a little bit warmer because it has cashmere in it um, than the black coat and you can close it a little bit better um, than the black one. But yeah, I don't really reach for it um, enough in my opinion. So if you have any tips or any like, I don't know, <laughs> reasoning um, that I could use with myself to use this coat more, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love for you to help me to wear this more often. My next one is yet another jacket from Burberry. I know I have so many items from them. This isn't an ad for Burberry, by the way, it just happens that I love the brand, that they have a lot of coats that I like, and that they also have a lot of outlet stores, um, which is convenient. So this jacket is called the Burberry Limehouse Puffer Jacket, and I got mine in black. So the reason why I love this jacket is because I feel like it's extremely convenient. It's like basically the perfect relaxed puffer jacket. Because this one doesn't have a fur, I feel like it's more sporty, it's perfect for let's say like hikes, um, perfect for like you know a relaxed day if you're running errands or 
um, maybe to go to work if you wouldn't want like you know people to say anything about like the fur thing this is perfect it's the perfect jacket to wear with like a pair of pants you could also pair it for example with like a pair of leggings um, and like uggs it's like very very relaxed and that's what I like about it um, it's not the type of outfit that I would wear you know it's not the type of jacket that I would wear if I was going somewhere special or if I was going on a date or anything like that but I feel like everybody needs a kind of like relaxed puffer jacket for those like off days where you don't want to dress up and you just want to be like cozy and comfortable it is extremely warm um, <laughs> which is nice. I didn't really know how to place this jacket in my like warmth chart, um, but it's probably towards the top. Um, I feel like anyway, we're like getting towards the top. I didn't really know if it was like warmer than the next Montclair that I'm gonna show you, but it's probably like at the same level. Um, so very relaxed, very warm, very cozy, perfect for days off. we have a Montclair jacket. It's called the Montclair Falmeris Parquet Jacket um, and I really really like this one. This has been a very recent unboxing on my channel so if you're curious to see my first impressions about this jacket then I will go ahead and leave the link to the video and the little information link over here for you to see it. I was so thrilled to find this jacket. Um, this is not at all something that I bought at an outlet. Um, this was kind of a spontaneous purchase, but a very good one um, in my opinion. I'm like in love with it and I basically can't wait um, for it to get super cold so that I can wear it. So my favorite thing about this jacket, other than the obvious, obviously it has the fur on it, is um, kind of the fact that it's lightweight but extremely warm. So most of the jackets um, that I have in my collection, when I'm holding them up like this, they're giving me an arm workout. This one is very, very light, especially compared to the level of warmth that it is. So that makes it such that like you're not like weighted down when you're wearing it on your shoulders. And it also doesn't look like puffy or like bulky at all. Um, it's very, very like dressed up. I feel like it makes me look slimmer than what I am, which normally like jackets definitely make you look a little chubby, like a little bit like a Michelin um, type of little man. Um, but this really isn't the case. It makes me look a lot slimmer than what I am. Um, and it would be, for example, um, in my mind at least, the perfect type of jacket if you don't want to wear a wool coat, if it's like way too cold, then you could wear this like with like a really nice dress if you're going to like a fancy event or like out on a date to like a nice restaurant. If you have a dress under a pair of boots, heels, even flats, whatever you want, definitely flats for me or boots, no heels. Um, this would be the perfect way to like dress up any outfit. I love the look of it. It's like perfect, like New York style, like Park Avenue. Um, at least in my mind, that's what it screams and I love this jacket. My next jacket is still from Montclair, um, but this time I'm also having some trouble finding the references for it because I have bought it so long ago, but if I do find them, then I will write them over here, but I'm not sure. Uh, definitely having some trouble. This jacket is really nice. Um, this is actually more of a ski jacket. Personally, I don't ski, but you could wear it um, skiing or you could wear it like for running errands or anything like that. It's very sporty, um, so it has the fur, obviously, which I like. As you know, that's like my thing now. I love the fur. Um, but it's very sporty, so for example, perfect if you are running errands, great with like a pair of leggings, um, Uggs, pants, definitely not a skirt or a dress, no way. Um, <laughs> this is very sporty, very like casual. My favorite thing about this jacket is the sleeves, so the sleeves are very, very long and then they have this like inside part that comes out 
um, up the sleeve. So if you're cold but you forgot your gloves, definitely me, <laughs> um, then you're not totally screwed. You're like half screwed because your fingers are not covered, but at least like the palm of your hand is. So that makes it extra nice. I love that part about this jacket. I definitely wish some other jackets had this feature. It's something really, really nice. Um, it has a lot of pockets, um, a lot of inside pockets as well. So if, for example, you don't want to take a purse, you know, if you're like going on a hike or going skiing, uh, you're not going to get a purse for sure. So that makes it very, very convenient. Um, this jacket is old, but I've worn it so many times. It's really convenient. I love it. It's always a nice look, especially when like going like on an adventure. And now the time has come for my last and therefore warmest jacket of them all. It's with no surprise something from Canada Goose. This is the Canada Goose Victoria Parka. I have mine in green. My favorite thing about this jacket, other than again the fur, is the color. So I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea and that everybody is going to like a color green for a coat. But for me, I love, love it. So I do have green eyes. Green is a color that I love. I love like the forest, the outdoors, things like that. So I wanted like a little bit of a reminder of that. I didn't want to get a black one because as you saw from the video, I already had so many black coats. So I'm very proud of myself um, for getting this. This is a jacket that I love wearing when it's like super cold outside. So for example, like when I go to visit my family in Canada for um, the winter break, then this is definitely the jacket that I will bring um, for like Thanksgiving, winter, um, vacation, the whole thing. The whole time I'll be wearing this jacket. Um, I used to live in Canada and like I think for like four or five months out of the year I would only wear this jacket. Um, it's extremely convenient, it's extremely practical, again kind of similar to the Montclair one that I showed you earlier has a lot of like inside pockets, extra pockets. It's not quite mid-length yet, so it basically just covers my butt and my upper thighs. That would be the one limitation to this jacket that I would place. It's that it's probably not long enough if you want something like incredibly warm, uh, meaning that my legs are still exposed. So that means I still have to wear like thermal underwear, like under like leggings. Um, but I mean other than that, it's really really nice. Um, it's not overly expensive I still feel like these prices are reasonable especially compared to Montclair. So I would highly recommend this jacket I've had it for such a long time um, I've gotten it dry cleaned at least twice or three times and it's still in like incredible condition So this would be one of my best recommendations in terms of like a super super warm jacket. I would probably favor um Canada Goose over Montclair. If you're looking for something extra warm, this would be my pick. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. As you saw, I had a lot of options from Bearberry. I definitely think that is the brand that I have the most options from. Otherwise, it's a combination of like Montclair and then one Canada Goose jacket. By the way, do let me know in the comments down below if you have any recommendations of what I could potentially get next. Um, if there's a particular jacket that you have in mind that would kind of fill a gap in my collection or if you have a particular recommendation of a jacket that you have and that you love, I would love to hear your thoughts so please let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.